You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I am Matt. And I'm Key. And today we'll be recapping uh, Raw from January 8th. Yeah, a really solid show. Yep, yep, yep. Um, well, not- it, it helps when our favorite stable is has finally come together. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Th- that is very true. Um, a little surprise, too, that uh, they, they came back last week. Kind of came out of left field, you know? Well, because they didn't announce that Finn was going to be in a tag match. They mm-hmm. kind of just kind of threw him in there. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. We're obviously talking about Balor Club. Yes. And, uh, Which I guess is their official name, right? That's what they're going so. with? Yeah. They've been, well, Finn's been running with the Balor Club thing for a while. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It kind of makes sense to have Balor with the club mm-hmm. and just put them together. Oh, it makes sense. And then Carl Anderson can keep his BC on his knee pad. It's true. Yep. Mm-hmm. It, it actually makes sense now yeah they're not they don't have to pretend like they don't know what it means <laughs> that's cool. anyway so uh the show starts the roman reigns coming out this is a really good segment yeah it was uh it was solid a lot of good uh good stuff all around mm-hmm. a lot of the time is an opening segment's usually carried by one person yeah um because the other people aren't as great because Kurt Angle is not very good at delivering his scripted lines. No, nah, not really. <laughs> oh, my God. When he came out at the end, of it was so bad. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, he comes out and he says that clearly uh, Samojo was not ready for him last week, and mm. that's why he won, and he was fighting for Dean. He's fighting with a purpose. <laughs> yeah. He said he wasn't the necessarily the best wrestler in the match, but he won because he was fighting with a purpose. Yes. Um, and then he said that if you mess with one member of the shield, you mess with all of them. Mm-hmm. And at that point, Jason Jordan comes out, oh, yeah. who apparently is a new member of the shield. In his mind, he thinks he is. Yeah. So <laughs> he, he comes out and he, he kind of says that, oh, we, we, we all work together mm-hmm. and stuff like that. He's kind of like, yeah, if you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. Yeah. And, and he Roman's says, like, what the hell's wrong with you, man? <laughs> yeah. And, uh. And he uh, he says that uh, they're definitely the most dominant three person group mm-hmm. in the WWE. Yep. And then at this point, Rollins' music hits. It's like, hold on, kid, we uh, we need to work on your timing a little <laughs> bit because Rowan was just talking about how he did this for Dean, right. and now you're stealing all his thunder. So, uh, mm-hmm. so but yeah, 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 like you said, that Jason Jordan says they they may be the most dominant three-man group in wwe and that's mm. when oh, yeah, the Bal- Balor club comes out yeah um, <clears throat> so um but yeah finn says that 2018 will be the year of Balor club mm-hmm. and um and then Ch- jason jordan goes well you guys might have the Balor club but we're the champions yeah, I club i don't see anything around your waist uh, and then uh finn <laughs> has the mic and he looks at uh seth and he goes oh, we got the architect here and he looks at Reigns, and he says, we got the big dog. And then he looks at at Jason Jordan, and he's like, we got, mm, what's that word? Starts with an N? And then Gallows goes, nerd. Yeah. Yep, Good yep, stuff. Yep. It's our favorite catchphrase. Yeah, pretty much. They, they're really going all in on the nerd meter too. Because <laughs> Gallows had, like, his vest and his shirt both had the same same thing. Oh, did it? I didn't yeah. notice the vest, yeah. Yeah. So that's it, awesome it's pretty funny mm-hmm. but yeah, the, the three of them together assuming that they actually have them do stuff yeah instead of there being just like a one-off here which would be horrible yeah assuming they they run together it'd be perfect no absolutely and then you know it gives finn something to do that's true and then having him in a match with you know say brock lesnar he's got backup now yeah well he, yeah because they don't need to just wrestle as a team. Right. They can do things independently. It's like the Shield, what we were talking about. Mm-hmm. They don't need to be together all the time. They can do things independently, yep. and then when they need to, they can band together. Yeah. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. We're really bringing yeah. back stables now, actually. I like that. I think they learned from the New Day. Yeah. Because of how well like their dynamic works. Mm-hmm. Um, because they can have singles matches. They can have tag matches. They we can... may see the uh, first co-champion with, uh, with the U.S. title if what? they win that, besides the other one, oh, too. We'll get say, to that one, too. Talking? Yes. Okay. 
Well, is that what they're planning on doing? I thought I think there was rumors about that, or yeah. that's something they wanted to implement. Oh, they wanted yeah. to do the. Mm-hmm. the uh, I think actually they the might have said it on, rule. Yeah, yeah. We, but they actually, were going to call th- it the New Day rule now. Well, of course, yeah, yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. a lot more yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's more relevant yeah. now. But you said that they made the match later on tonight, right? For oh yeah, the and six then man. Angle comes out and he says in a very poorly scripted. Uh, uh, oh, I know my son is always getting himself into these crazy situations, <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, and then he makes the main event. Because he says, like, oh, we have the Beast Brock Lesnar making an appearance, yeah. and the Miz is coming back. Yeah. So now I found a great main event. <laughs> it's just so... Well, I mean, to be fair, they don't announce the main event that often. Yeah, but usually if the opening segment is something that turns into a match mm. that's usually the main event generally or it should be open the show with it and close the show with yeah bookend so um but yeah he makes the six-man tag mm-hmm. for the main event yep. so up next we have a women's tag team match uh sasha and bailey versus mandy rose and sonia deville yes so i noticed sonia deville was not sporting her uh gloves this week and well, it kind of doesn't make a whole lot of I sense. I know, but I mean, I think they're kind of moving away from that. The MMA but, yes, gimmick? Yes, yes. It's a smart hair thing was to do. was done a little more, like, differently and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think, I don't know if Paige is cleared to wrestle yet. Mm-hmm. Probably not, so we'll probably get a little more spotlight on them doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah, I but, forgot about that, actually. Yeah. But I guess it does make sense. Mm-hmm. Plus, it kind of is better to have, like, varying things instead of having six women tag matches every week. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <that's> true. <laughs> so um so the the just the tag match mm-hmm. although there was no involvement really from the outside no because we had surprising was mickey on the outside too yes, right mickey yeah mickey and with... then Paige was there mm-hmm. for absolution yes. but uh not a huge surprise here with sasha gaining the victory with a bank statement yes on, although uh, she Mandy got Rose. beat up like the entire yeah. time yeah but <laughs> Sasha's good at selling, so well, she yeah. needs to sell for the uh, the rookies. She ragged all pretty much the whole time. Yeah, she's good at that too. Well, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. it's true. Yep. Um, so yeah, yeah. And we go backstage, and uh, Goldust and his uh, new friend uh, Cedric Alexander are back there, and Goldust is uh, giving him the Rocky pep talk. Yeah. Um, He's dressed up and everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think. What did uh, Cedric say? Uh, Thanks for the pep talk or whatever. And then Golda said, you don't need anything. You you, you know, this is all you, right? Mm -hmm. Because he was was talking about it not being about Enzo or anything else. It was about Cedric. Yeah. Because it was... It was his time. It was his time, yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so... uh, He's ready for his match against Enzo. Pretty much. Um, All right, so... (laughs) Up next, we have Matt Matt Hardy's first match since come uh, since being woken. Yeah, and uh, yeah. it was up against Kurt Hawkins. Um, yeah, this was not a real surprise here. <laughs> nah, um, Matt did have some different moves in his arsenal. Yeah, he had to, what the German into the turnbuckle, well, right? Before we get into the match oh, itself, yes. his new theme music. Yes, he has new theme music, mm-hmm. but don't worry. They kept the Lord. Hardy Boys graphics <laughs> yes, when he came they out. they did. Because obviously that makes sense. Oh, man. These fans might not know who this is if we don't put this graphic up there. Yep. So, obviously that was a uh, an oversight, maybe? I don't or know. stupidity? Only one person to blame. <laughs> Kevin Dunn. Yep. Um, but yeah, no. Matt, Matt uh, looked decent here. Mm. Moved around better than he normally does. I guess it's, since his style changes, because when he w- moves around with Jeff in the ring, it's, it just looks like an old man. He also really hasn't wrestled a whole lot lately, so maybe he's just fresher. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's true. It's definitely possible. Yeah, that's true. But, but yeah, yeah he, he wins with the uh, twist, of, twist fate. of fate. Yeah. Um, uh, lights go out. Bray shows up. Yeah, this was weird. And then they just kind of laugh at each other. Yeah. It just got face to face, started laughing back and forth for entirely way too long yeah i don't understand what their goal is there all right so i was thinking Uh uh-huh now how do you how do you have a match between these two it needs to be some sort of gimmick match a pig pen match (laughs) now that's when uh we find out that bo dallas is uh bray wyatt's brother Uh... yeah then they'll have a pig pen match but uh like the house of horrors match would have been perfect for these two it would have made more sense right because randy orton kind of stood out 
Well, it was like then the, again, he stands out all the time. Yeah. The uh, what was that one of the total deletion or whatever one where they were fighting on the truck and stuff like that. That was. I don't remember what, the ta- no, that wasn't tag team apocalypto. It was one of them. Yeah, one of the nonsense. But you could have had that happening them, going back to the arena. It's true. <laughs> Except WWE would be like, what are you crazy? We're not doing <laughs> something like that. Um, <sighs> but it, it's, I, it's got to be some sort of gimmick. They're, yeah, they're going to come up with something. There's going to be a, a, a boat and uh, some drones and stuff. <laughs> a dilapidated boat. Yes. I couldn't remember the words. <laughs> I didn't want to try with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's going to be. Send your Benjamin. It's going to be bad. Bad but fantastic. Well, yeah, it's going to be over the top, yeah. I should say. Yeah, I, I think they need to cut a little back on the, the laughter. Well, because it doesn't make any sense. There's no... No, just have Matt go on a tirade of his nonsense. Yeah, if he, if you're speaking, you're not making awkward sounds. Yeah. So, it's, it's I, I can only imagine what it's like sitting in there in the arena and just watching these two laugh oh, at each other. And probably... then the lights go out and you're kind of like, what? Yeah, exactly. What? So, how did I watch? yeah all right yep so uh up next we have elias coming out Mm -hmm. no oh yes i'm sorry yes um so he comes out sings a song uh bashing elvis i want to say yeah he said something about elvis because they were in memphis yeah and then he says uh i'm surprised we didn't see the king that's fine he'll be Um, there at the 25th apparently um and then he sings and he kind of like in a roundabout way introduces the miz Mm -hmm. And the Miz he got comes through out. a full song. Yeah, he did. He did. He was not interrupted. Nope. Um, and the Miz comes he out. He over. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, oh, he also did mention that you have to remember that WWE stands for Walk with yes. Elias. Yes. Um, anyway, the Miz comes out with uh, the Miz to Raj. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the Miz announces that his guests are going to be Dallas and Axel. Yep. And they both have gifts for him. Yes. <laughs> Well, no, it wasn't gifts. They just kept on trying to give him stuff. Well, it's like, oh, give- it was a gift from, well, what did uh, Dallas gave him a picture of the Miz, and he's like, oh, it's going to be hard falling asleep now with this, with you you having this picture. Oh, yeah, because it, he had it, yes. <laughs> and um, what did Curtis Axel try to give him? I don't remember, but he I tried to I- give him a shoe at one point. Oh, it was his jacket. That's what he gave oh, him. Oh, yeah, this yeah. nice jacket, and then Dallas <laughs> tried to give him his watch. <laughs> And then Miz is like, cut it out. Yep. Um, and then he just goes on a tirade mm-hmm. saying that he's coming back for his Intercontinental Championship. Mm-hmm. And uh, Roman's time with him allowing him to have the title yep. has come to an end. Yes. And uh, so that was it. Yeah. Um, and then we go backstage, and Alexa Bliss is in the locker room with Asuka. And uh, she basically says that Nia's talking crap about her, right? Something uh, like that. You skipped a little bit. Did I? Yeah. Oh. This shit. was this was when um, uh, uh, uh I, I saw I C title. That that was my fault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This was when Finn, no, was, uh, yeah. Anderson, and Gallows yes. were in the back, and yes. they're getting ready for their match, and then they were talking no. about stuff that happened in Japan yeah. and stuff. Did they say hit him fast and hit him hard as well as AJ said on thir- on Tuesday? I don't think I so. I could have sworn they both said the same thing, but maybe not. I know that. Uh, Carl Anderson mentioned that he's got a smoking hot, hot Asian, Asian wife. wife. Yes, yes. He did bring that back. Yep. So. That is true. All right. So, um, and we got the uh, much anticipated cruiserweight title match. Yeah. It was supposed to happen last week. Yes, but Enzo was ill with the flu, mm-hmm. and they sent him away from the arena. Um, so yeah, this was uh, this was something. Um, Enzo got kicked in the face at one point. Oh yeah, he got busted. <laughs> yeah, he hit him right above the eye. Yeah, he got busted blood open pretty everywhere. Good. Yeah. And uh, but that Cedric, wasn't the that wasn't the worst of the yeah, injuries. So. Cedric was uh, was running him pretty hard. He was just move after move. Yep. knocks him out of the ring, hits him with what a plancher or whatever it was, or he did a he dove over the ropes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And hit him, and I guess he landed over Enzo, and kind of Enzo's legs buckled on him. Or yeah, land, it was. And it made it look like he twisted his ankle. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at that point, Enzo couldn't get up. Therefore, and he, he couldn't. He make started it right. getting to the ring at nine. And he was like, wait. What am, I doing? what am I doing? I'm just going to lay out here. Yeah. Uh, um, so I guess this is a way that they're just going to say that, or the reasoning behind him not being mm-hmm. in the mixed match challenge. Yeah, I, I guess. Um, 
the real reason is not, I mean, because of last week, I guess they taped all the promos on Wednesday. Uh -huh. So he was sick, so he couldn't tape the promo. So they just said, nah, you're at it. Well, yeah, I guess yeah. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it gives them like a real reason to keep right. him out of it. Yes. Um. So, but yeah, because I think it was a little later on they had a train. Oh, yeah. Okay. It, oh, it was like directly after. Yeah. Um, in the trainer's room, Enzo was getting checked on by uh, by the doctors. Well, mm -hmm. one of them, well, the ref was there too. Yeah. He was like, oh, you're going to be okay. Well, it was weird in the match because, you know, the blood wasn't obviously supposed to happen. So they yeah. had to cover that up because you had a guy outside the ring just kind of like uh, wiping his eye. Because yeah. it, it was. It but was a lot Enzo of wasn't as concerned about that as <laughs> no. the ankle because yeah. he was supposed to be selling the ankle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Um, and then uh, Nia Jax comes over to check on him, mm -hmm. asks how he's doing. Yep. And he's like, oh, I'm doing all right. And then she kind of just leaves. Yeah. That was about it. Not not much to it. No. Still don't know what the, what they're doing with this. No. Um, but Yeah, I'm guessing that Enzo's whole thing is completely storyline. Because, I mean, it did look like the, the, the shot was nasty. Oh, yeah, 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 his, yeah. His ankle did not look like it was in a... Uh, or went down in a nice way. Oh, no, that was... That it looked it so looked, unless maybe he was just supposed to get counted out and he did get hurt, you know. Yeah, I, I don't possible, know, it's, but it definitely looked bad. Yeah, but but he was on. Was he on two hundred five last he night? Was, he he was, was limping around. Oh, was he? Yeah. Yeah. So, there you go. They they absolutely made it part it. of the yeah. story mm. at the very least. Um. All right. So up next, we have Kurt Angle on the phone with what I'm assuming is a former uh, women's. Super wrestler yeah because what do you say you should come back for the royal rumble or yes. something like that yeah and then uh who who walks in Sh Seamus and Shazar right? okay yeah. so they come in mm -hmm. and he goes all right I gotta go and he hangs up the phone <laughs> so it's like obviously that's not doing a great job uh trying to get someone to come back for gonna hang up on him uh, yeah anyway and yeah they're complaining about getting their rematch so mm -hmm. we've waited long enough where's our rematch mm -hmm. it says you know what you got it at the Royal Rumble. And, yeah. And then he said, Either you guys got a match tonight, so head to the ring. Yes. I'll find some opponents for you. Uh. And then Miz comes in, and he's talking about his new show. Uh, was it Miz and Mrs. or something like that? Or he Miz didn't say and what Miss. the name was. Mrs., yeah, yeah. No, he didn't say what no, the no, name no. was. No, 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 yeah, I read it. I saw it on Twitter. I was going to say, he just came over and said yeah. that the USA Network yeah. knows how to promote a show, mm -hmm. but you don't. Right. And uh, so he was making... But yeah, and then he obviously requests his uh, rematch. And then I think Kurt... That's when Kurt says it's... No, he wanted it at the 25th show. I thought Kurt said, you know what? I got a great idea. Mm -hmm. Let's do it at the 25th no, anniversary uh, show. The Miz said that he oh, wants okay. it. I knew it uh, Yeah. Because um, I guess he felt like that was a proper mm -hmm. venue to have his rematch. Gotcha. Um, but I mean, that's pretty big that their show's going to be on USA. What, the 25th anniversary? No, 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 no. Miz and oh, Reese's oh. show. Well, yeah, because I mean, it's... I mean, I'd assume you'd get significantly more viewers than it does on E, you know, Total Divas does on E. I guess. I don't know. I'm not or really it... big on the... Um, what viewership? Yeah. Yeah. But it's possible. Yeah. Because especially considering it's going to be considered more of a mainstream like show right. with them because it'll be advertised on the same network, network, network as yeah. the... Oh, God, the, yeah. the every week programming. <laughs> yep, we've got so, lots of advertisements. Um, but yeah, so uh, up next we have the locker room. The thing you were alluding to before, I was talking about before. Yes, uh, Alexa Bliss comes up to Asuka and says that, uh, who knows what Nia is going to do to you when she finds out what you said about her? <laughs> That's right. And then Asuka's kind of just staring at oh. her, and then Bliss walks away. Yep, and that, that was it. It was kind of yeah. weird. Yeah. Um, and then we had the uh, bar versus their, well, I guess mystery opponents, which yeah. turned out to be Titus Worldwide. Oh, yeah. Um, so I was like, wow, this match is still going on. What's going it was, on? It was they, pretty long. Yeah, yeah. They, and they looked good, too. Yeah. Titus O'Neil, though, is one of the strangest looking human beings I've he, ever seen. Yeah, he's got an awkward body. Yeah, because it's, it's just like, his movement. Like, yeah. when I see him walking down the ramp, I'm like, wow. Just, it's because he's so big, he's though. Tall. <laughs> yeah. Because he. If you, like, just see him by himself, he looks like a normal-sized mm -hmm. person. Right. But then you put him up against someone else. You see, you see Titus, I mean, uh, Apollo. Apollo next to him. Yeah. And then you see Dana Brooke next. Because Ap Apollo's probably at least six foot something. Something like that, yeah. And he looks small compared to mm -hmm. Titus. Yeah. Just, like, a very, very odd, yeah. like, 
the movement. But yeah, the ending of this match was was pretty cool. So Cesaro was on the outside of the ring, and uh, Apollo Cruz was on the apron. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Sheamus comes at Apollo. I guess going for the bro kick, right? Or Probably. some, or just a kick. And Apollo hits a backflip, evading the kick and landing on Cesaro. And Titus is able to roll up Sheamus for the win. Yeah, because he was surprised that he missed. Yeah, he. That was pretty. It cool, was a really though. nice. It yeah. was a really nice spot. Yeah. I, I was surprised that he did that. Yep. It was pretty cool. And uh, huge win for Titus worldwide. H- huge. Uh, <laughs> certainly unexpected <clears throat> at the very least. Yeah. No one. No one would have ever thought that. Uh, Titus would have pinned Sheamus. No. But, uh, but yeah. This was a night of a lot of strange occurrences, as we'll find out later. Yeah. Well, actually, we'll find out very right. soon. Yeah. yeah this this, is this was definitely a strange occurrence. Mm-hmm. Um, so Lesnar and Heyman come out. Uh, Layman, Heyman kind of does the same stuff, complaining yeah, just, about the Royal Rumble match. I, I kind of just tune out. And th- my favorite part was that, well, we're not complaining about the stipulation, <laughs> and then he went on and complained but it's about unfair. the stipulation. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but he says basically that Lesnar's going to win. Mm-hmm. Just the same exact thing as last week. Um, do we think that they're just getting Lesnar's appearances out of the way now? I guess. Because probably what happened was they signed a contract, and it was like... Yeah, he's got to make a certain amount of... Yeah. For the year. Right. And after WrestleMania, instead of having him continue moving on, mm-hmm. it's just WrestleMania, all his appearances are done for the year. It's possible. Um, and then he leaves. I don't whatever. know when his contract is I think through. It's at, I think WrestleMania is, is the end yeah. of it. From, if I, I thought I heard that. Possible. Um, so, um, but yeah, then Kane... Oh yeah, they go up the ramp mm-hmm. after being... I guess it's done with whatever they were talking about. Yeah. Um, and then Lesnar awkwardly kind of turns and faces the crowd. And then Kane comes from the, the entrance and attacks him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they somehow end up in the backstage area. Yep. And then uh, Braun, Braun decides, shows up yeah, and decides, starts beating him with the big uh, case luggage cases, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then this was weird. He, he finds a grappling hook on the ground. No, looking, he didn't find it in the ground. Oh, it was could, in one of the. It was cases. in the to- cases, right? right. Yeah. So and then he looks around. And he sees the uh, metal scaffolding standing there, and he just hurls the grappling hook at it. It gets stuck, and he starts pulling. Comes down on Kane and uh, Lesnar. Yeah. So as Paul Heyman is in the background, going, "No, don't no. do it, don't do it." <laughs> Um, oh, that was man. weird. It was something. Because what was the purpose of the the scaffolding if it just fell? Yeah, and it was nothing just happened up, yeah. around it. It was just there. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't holding anything yeah. up. So I, at first, I thought it was the back of the Titan Tron. I was like, "Whoa!" Well, <laughs> that that's the thing. Well, I thought the same thing, but obviously, I'm assuming that was probably taped beforehand. Maybe, yeah, something. Right? Yeah. Because you know, I'm sure that would have if if not. Had everything perfectly, that probably could have caused a lot of problems. So, <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, and then after that happens, mm-hmm. they come back from commercial right. and they show what happened during the commercial break, which was basically just Lesnar getting um, stretchered into an ambulance and Kane stumbling away. Yeah. So Lesnar gets medical treatment, but mm-hmm. Kane does Kane, not. Yeah. <laughs> It's you know it's a rough life being the yeah. big red machine. Well, it was funny because uh, Christine had gone home before this segment happened. She goes, "Did I miss anything?" And I was like, "Well, Bra- uh, Braun Strowman <laughs> threw a grappling hook and pulled down some metal." Uh, it was just a funny text to say. Well, send. yeah, because it's certainly yeah. not something you would normally no. see. No, no, no. All right, and we have uh, up next Samoa Joe versus Rhino. Well, at least. Uh, Jojo, Jojo didn't announce uh, Heath Slater this week. That's true. <laughs> and uh, now uh, it's a good opponent for uh, Rhino to teach uh, Heath how to be tough. Mm-hmm. That's true. Uh, <clears throat> not a surprise here. Rhino gets choked out. And he taps to the uh, Coquina Clutch. Yes. And then we got Matt's favorite segment, which is the interviews after the match. But if they win, it's a little better than it, if they it lose. It makes a hell of a lot it's more true. sense. Uh, but uh, Charlie asks joe if uh winning this match makes up for last week and he's like <laughs> roman didn't win right is that what he yeah, said that's what he said <laughs> he's like roman's starting to crack and he and then he, he will eventually break it will break him and i was like okay joe and then yeah. he's like uh but i'm officially entering myself in the royal rumble 
And then I think Charlie started naming people that were also in the Rumble. <laughs> yeah. And then he comes up to John Cena, and Samoa Joe's like, yeah, John Cena's going to be the first person I throw yeah. over the what top What was rows. that about? <laughs> that made no sense. Well, they were originally supposed to wrestle before uh, Joe got injured last time. I was going to say, what, are they trying to set up a feud, and yeah. then he gets hurt again? Yep. So they and can't. apparently during the match, Joe did get hurt yeah a pop in his foot i think something or his ankle or something like that they said oh, so he could be joe. out uh, a month to uh, four months silly man sad but they have thankfully a big enough roster where this shouldn't cause too many problems well joe is you know really not done a whole lot nah. during his main roster stay so sure. him not being around after getting really... off on a, a bad foot with the uh, uh hurting rollins uh -huh. and then pushing their feud off and yeah. then their lackluster feud and then yeah, yeah. so he's not going to be uh, he's he's entertaining but his, the lack of him being on the show is probably not going to be too noticeable yeah um so uh backstage mm -hmm. alexa bliss uh, is talking about uh or asking nia Jax how uh, enzo's doing and nia goes you don't care why mm -hmm. are you asking true <laughs> and then um she, oh, I uh, meant to ask you, did you watch the Corey Graves thing with no. Enzo? Oh, man. Was Pretty it, good. It was good? Yeah. Doesn't he, like, get... Uh, Enzo gets, like, annoyed and then just leaves? Uh, he kind of pisses Corey off. Oh, okay. Um, but apparently everything... There was considerable amount of heat between him and Big Cass. They do not talk anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. It's a little surprised. Yep, because uh, they have an interview with Cass that they show... And Cass is like, you know, when Enzo got hurt, you know, in NXT, he carried him up flights of stairs to his apartment and, and all of the other things when he got the concussion and stuff like that. Uh huh. And then en as when Enzo, I guess after Big Cass got hurt, Enzo was just like, screw you, you didn't even finish the match. And that, then that's it. That was like the last thing they said to each other. It was wow. it was crazy, yeah. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, so Enzo is himself. Well. What you see is what you get. Well, we knew that already. Yep. Um, so, um, anyway. Yep. Uh, Alexa tells Nia that she thinks Enzo's holding her back, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because it's not like they're actually affiliated with each mm -hmm. other just yet. Nope. Um, and then, uh, then nice. Nia says that she, Great she plans team. on entering the Royal Rumble. Take that title right off, yeah. Uh, and then she's gonna beat her. Mm-hmm. Uh, at, <laughs> at WrestleMania. Or that's when they can finally have their match or whatever. Yeah. And she, I guess, what, did Alexa said something about her getting, uh revenge on oscar after what oscar had said to yes. her and then bliss whispers something in uh naya's ear and naya turns to alexa and goes oh, i didn't know you speak japanese and, or no she asks this she says beauty. do you speak japanese and yeah. she's like no, no. Well, well oscar doesn't speak english <laughs> and then like, uh, oh, so she's like sick. oh okay Burn. yes yep and then we have <laughs> oscar who's supposed to have a match she comes out and then all of a sudden, Nia Jax comes through the crowd and or, or I don't whatever, think she came through wherever the crowd. she I think came she from. She came from the entrance. Yeah, and she just like followed. Well, her. and then she attacks her, and all of a sudden you see yes, her opponent was... running uh, next to the stage. Yeah, um, like why wouldn't you just take yep. that opportunity to get a win over Asuka? <laughs> it's true. The easiest thing to do. Oh my God! Could imagine, you imagine if a jobber beat Asuka. Look, oh. you, you can never be surprised with what this company would do. That's true. Yeah. But four, yeah. four years of preparation, and we're going <laughs> to blow it on that. Got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to the main event. Mm. Of Balor Club versus, well, as you put it, the New Shield. Well, you know, that's what JJ Champions thinks. Club, right? Yeah. That's, that that's, is what Jordan yes. said, yes. Um, no, this match was good. Yeah. I, I really like the way they built the ending. Mm. It, was, it was very well done, and uh, it's amazing how they go from the club being complete jobbers mm -hmm. to uh being, being able to shield. hold their own with uh, the top performers in the company yes um but yeah this was <clears throat> this was a good match for um well obviously the mm -hmm. six of them because they're just gallows and anderson have been tagging together for such a long time now that they yeah. they you know they know well, what that's they're the doing. whole thing yeah. yeah that's the whole story that's their thing yeah um and then obviously finn and the other three are you know know what they're doing um and then like you said it was a it was a cool finish because it kind of seemed like they were doing the okay eventually the the faces are gonna go over kind of thing and they're gonna consider them the faces but I, I get what you mean oh of the situation yes they were they playing are. their face role yes yeah. because rollins was looking for the hot tag to roman uh -huh. 
Jason Jordan comes in the ring as Rollins is about to make the tag to Roman. The ref gets distracted by Jason Jordan and goes, oh, what are you doing in the ring? And then he doesn't see the tag. And then Roman gets pissed at Jason Jordan. Yep. And when they start, they they start getting into it. Like, not. Um, I think what happened was that, uh, because, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Jason Jordan's trying to help up. Um, Rollins. Rollins, so I right, think, to the I think corner. Reigns was getting pushed out of the ring mm-hmm. by the ref. Yeah, well, probably, yeah. Yes. And then uh, Jason Jordan's trying to help up Rollins, and then Rollins sees that um, Finn's coming, mm-hmm. pushes Jason Jordan out of the way. Right, yes. Then he gets the shotgun drop kick into mm-hmm. the corner. Yep. And then he gets the coup de gras, and uh, that was the end of the match. Yeah. Yeah, because I know at one point, Gallus and Anderson got taken out outside with a couple Superman punches. And, yeah. Yeah. But no, they really built this match well. Yeah. And then after the match, um, it. <laughs> I don't know if you know you thought this as well, but I I saw, uh, well, he got attacked by the Mizraj Roman that is, and yeah. it looked like the Spirit Squad at first. I just saw a green uh, shirt oh, come out, and yeah. I was like, wait, who, I, who the I, hell is that? I, was like, I wait, that can't be the Spirit that. Squad. It was that was just Dallas, right? Yeah. No, 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 I think it was the Miz is the inside of his. Uh, well, that, that wasn't green. That was like, or was it teal? Teal. Yeah, probably. something like that. Um. But yeah, he was mm-hmm. attacked by the Miz Taraj. Yep. Um, they he hits a skull fr- crushing finale, and then they set him up for a triple power bomb like the Shield one. Yeah. Yeah, because as soon as the match left, uh, Ballot Club was up the ramp and gone. Yeah. So it's like okay, yeah. our, our part's done. Mm-hmm. We're gonna leave now. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, they hit it twice, right? The triple power. Oh no, he hit the skull crushing finale the first time, and then and they then set him the, up the, the crowd tri- started chanting one more time, right, right, right. one more time, and then that's when they did that. Yes. So, but uh, yeah, no, good ending to the show. Good show overall. Yes, very strong ending, especially compared to last week. Yeah, we had Brock Lesnar ending the. Oh, that was bad. Show. Yeah, that was bad. They really need to never do that again. No, <laughs> unnecessary. Yep. But uh, yeah, that was our raw review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.